Something that we, we've, we've always said, and we've always had as a goal, is that you would play your in-game character as if you were really in combat. To date, I don't think there's really been a, a, a successful video game that rep representation, I should say, of what close quarters combat is like. Also, we're able to create much larger environments than we've ever been able to do before. Um, we always had very, very small maps. Well, now these maps are going to be vast. You're going to be able to move through a city, move from one point to another, um, and never have to reload a level. When you make a decision where you're thinking about taking cover or what you're going to do or healing your teammate, you're going to be acting as if you were in combat, not because of a game mechanic or not because you're in a video game and you can exploit something or twitch something or whatever. It's how would I do it? Would, would I go prone? You know, would I throw a smoke over here and then run this way? Uh, we want you to play the game as if you were in the real situation. Yeah, a lot of issues you see with some uh, games, and you know, a 2x was guilty of it as well, was you know, jumping because in order to be able to get over obstacles that are a little higher than you, that was the solution for everything to just jump. But that also led to uh, you know exploits and unrealistic gameplay where you know you engage an enemy and people would start hopping around trying to avoid you know getting shot and soldiers don't do that on the battlefield. <laughs> we have the gamer who we're trying to satisfy and make a fun, exciting experience that's representative of the army. In most games you have a medic who comes over and bless you my child, he suddenly heals you and then moves on. Uh, whereas our medic gameplay is down to the very details of practical treatments. I've personally been there uh, while they've been doing the developing on the game and also given my thoughts on what should be added. So we have really taken the grasp of what goes on in medical training for a combat lifesaver or a 68 whiskey and put some of those training aspects into the game. This is real as it gets, this is the real thing, it's nothing simulated. It's exactly what we do in training as a CLS or as a medic. In most games you see you know, the character reach to an amorphous place somewhere on the body and then the medic comes out of nowhere and slap it up. We've actually gone in and made a much higher detail version of that. I can see myself pull out my clip from my pal's vest put it into my weapon. This is high realism um, at its best in a video game. The, the ballistic simulations in the game are very accurate. Um, the, the data that we've acquired is real world data and not to mention um, you know, the, the, the experience from the designers, uh, actually firing the weapon systems and the SMEs telling us how it should be. This game has a level of authenticity that's brought to it by our subject matter experts. An SME is a subject matter expert. We have access to active duty soldiers who are still you know, going on deployments and they are in the living, breathing army and they know what's the most up-to-date information. Being portrayed in the game is very overwhelming. Uh, of course, a law to be nominated to be a part of the Real Heroes program uh, is a very, very great honor. It's great to tell not just my story, but the story of the guys I served with and the story of the U.S. Army. My interaction with the SMEs when I come here is uh, basically I just soak up every little detail I can get from them. You know, ask them about weapon systems that I'm not familiar with, or, you know, they, they obviously, they, they've handled them, used them a lot more than I have. Every time they're here, I'm, I, I don't get any work done because I'm spending the whole time bugging them. Okay, uh, let's get another take on that. We're rolling. Well, the sound in America's Army 3 is authentic. Outstanding! That's the kind of effort I'm looking for. If it's anything that deals with army equipment, we get the real stuff. Having a sound booth and having a, a wide variety of gear that we can take out into the field for recording allows us to bring in actual drill sergeants, actual soldiers, and we can go out into the field to arrange, set up mics, and record real weapon sounds actions being pulled, magazines being inserted and removed, explosions. We've, we've gone out to the Picatinny Arsenal and recorded the M320, which nobody has at this point. The Army's just beginning to field it. If you had access to one, you'd know that's how it really sounds. I want 110%. Hula? Hula! Go, go, go!